is Cynthia. In today's tutorial, I want to teach us how to make this beautiful um, um, veil we are seeing right here, side veil. Okay, so I'll be using this fabric. I'll be using two yards of um, satin doll face fabric and, have, and also my crinoline to hem the bottom parts. Okay, so if today is the first time of coming to this channel, you are highly welcome. And I ask you what you like this video, share it, and also what subscribe. And at the end of the video, if you find it very helpful, please hit that bell icon so you always get notified whenever we want to upload. Okay, so right now I'm going to set all my tools aside and then we are going to fold our fabric um, in a triangular form to get our veil. A triangular form. Um, this fabric is actually by 60, so I'll be folding this way. Actually, I'll be starting the veil from the waist area, so I need about 60 inches. So I have enough, um, I have enough fabric. So I'm folding this way. Well, let me use this side so that we'll see it and it'll stand very well. So we're going to fold it this way. And like I said, I'll be using um, length 60. So this is the length I'm working with 60 here. So what I'm going to do right now, I actually want this place exactly this way, okay? Exactly this way. I'm not going to touch here. I'll just give it a little cut. A little cut. Just like half inch cut. Just little. You see what I'm doing? Just a little cut. That's all I need there. Because I'll be adding it to the side of the waist. So once I get this, uh, I'll go to the bottom area, which is the main thing here. So right now, I we're going to start measuring. Like I said, I want 60 inches, and the fabric is already 60 inches. So, okay, so I will be needing 56 inches, okay? So I have exactly what 56 inches there. So right now I'm going to start marking 56. So we are going to go this way. So I'm going to call one of my girls to help me hold there so that we could um be able to work um this out. So right now I'll just tell her to hold around this place, the center, just here while I navigate uh, as if I'm using a compass. So, we just keep going 56 inches. Uh, like I said, I'm using two yards of um, dull face satin fabric. So, we just keep going that way, 56 inches. 56. Now, this is it, okay? But if you decide and you think you want to add a little tail on this area, you can just go ahead and do that. So to add a little tail, to make the side look more floaty, this is what you should do. Still hold that place. We'll make it um, 62 inches. Then from this 62 inches, I'll connect it towards to 50 watts, 6 inches. If you want, still want to add more to it, you can just still go more and what connect to what, what you have there, okay? Um, like something like this effect. It will give you this effect. Something like this, okay? At the end of everything, it will give you something like this. At least you have um, on the bottom area, this side, you have something this way, coming this way, okay? So um, let's, let's use... Um, Let's use 60, 63 around here, and then I'll connect it towards the 56, drag it off. So it all depends on what you want, keep going, 
So I just end it there. If you still want it more, you come down more, all right? But over there, I have 56 and here. Okay, so I'm going to take it from this place. Now I am going to use my crinoline towards to cover up this area. So I am working with this crinoline. So what I'm going to do right now is this. I'll open it up. I'm going to open it up and then we run it through with our crinoline, our crinoline. So I'll sew this way. Oh, okay, I'm going to go and sew it with this crinoline. Now, what I'm going to do is this. This is the front part. I'll get the front. This is the front part. Okay, so we are going to pin this way. Pin. And please, if you are sewing with your crinoline, make sure you are not um, dragging it. Okay, so that you not lose the that and. Um, floating effect of it just take it gently so once let's say i've um sewn it together now the next thing i should do is this i'll now fold this way can you see then i'll go and what iron okay so this is how it's going to be now you can decide to put the top stitch here on top of this to hold it firm or you can just decide to what to iron okay and hold it what so that the iron can hold it for very firm. So let's go and stitch. And then I'll come back and put it on um, on the dress form, on the dress that I've made, so that you'll see how to, uh, to attach yours. So i um, through with it. Okay, this is the finished look. I'm just going to trim it. So you should also consider folding this place, this area, the two side, you should also fold the two area. I folded it. So I folded this side and also this side. I've added my crinoline to it. And I'm sure you have seen that effect, that wavy flowing effect on the crinoline, on the, the hem area. So what I'm going to do right now, we're going to go and put it on. So I'll show you how to work, how to fix it so this is a crinoline on it so i'm going to show you how to what to fix it so this is the gown i'm going to fix it on the gown this is a lovely dress i actually made it for the clients okay let me show you how it's looking i made the gown for a client and then I'm through with embellishing it anyways. It's a princess that. So I want to show you how to add the veil on it, okay? So you choose the side where you want the veil to be. If you want it on the right or on the what? On the left. So I want it on the right, okay? So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to come on the side. On the side of... Um, this place okay you can decide to put it wherever place you so choose so I want it around here so right now I'm just I'll just pin it here eh? I'll pin it then I'll use my needle and shred to sew it together and so I'm going to open it up so that you can see the effects. I hope you can see very well. So this is it. 
And this is the quinoline effect. So, hope you can see it. Let me carry the camera back so that you can see it very well. So this I'll just try and open it up very well so that you can see it. So this is the veil. You can see how beautiful it's looking. Okay, so I'll just try to position it very well so that you can have a very nice view of what I'm talking about. You know. All right, so this is the finished look of the gown of the veil with crinoline on it. How is she looking? I'm sure she's looking very beautiful. All right, so if this video was very, very helpful, don't forget to subscribe and give us a thumbs up if you find the tutorial very helpful. I'll see you again in my next class. I'm Cynthia. Bye.